All right, so we're going to watch your initial one, and then we'll break it down. Okay, so let's uh, start from the top here. Um, so I want to work first on positioning, and I'm going to go right before you start your pull. All right, so here we go. Um, your feet... Remember, we have two different stances here in the clean. The first stance is your pulling stance, which is obviously from the start. And then the, the squat stance, which is what you're going to catch in. Um, so your pulling stance actually looks pretty good, right? Typically, it's about hip width apart, maybe actually heels inside. Um, you're too close to the barbell. Uh, we want to think about putting the bar over the metal tarsals, which is the toe joint. So you should have some space there. Most people try to walk up because they think it's a deadlift and... Uh, you can see you have some issues getting down, so try and step back away from the bar a little bit. So when you're looking down, it's right over the, all the toe joints. <clears throat> um, so you do have vertical shins. That's not bad. I would uh, look at opening your thighs up a little bit and creating some space in the groin. Uh, you just got narrow hips, and that's not really good for, for most of this. Um, so we just want to open up the hips there. We want to take a look now at the back angle, right? You're way too far over the bar. Um, so that's a combination of A, you dropping the hips so that they are slightly higher than the knees, and B, more importantly, B, getting your chest and shoulders pulled up, right? You got to make sure that your shoulders are over the bar, like above it, not too far out in front and higher than the hips, all right? So in a perfect world, we'd have you, like there's your knees, uh, hip angle would be slightly here, and then you'd be way up there, right? And then your, you know, it'd be, like that would be the angle from the shoulders, right here where this intersects, and the bar. Um, so if we take a look now at your pole, you're already in a starting position that's not great, so you're already most likely going to miss things up front. Um, but as we go, you can see here that you, uh, you're lifting your shoulders quicker than your hips, right? You start to increase that angle, and that's, I think, just because you weren't in a good angle to begin with. But this angle back here should stay constant wherever you're at, right? So by dropping the hips, that angle would actually, you know, start here. And as you pull the kneecaps back, it should stay parallel to that angle until you pass the knees. So if you watch here um, and watch some of the other videos that I have on, on our YouTube, you want to really make sure you're pulling the kneecaps back from this first pull. And it's really just getting everything out of the way. And right now your knees aren't really getting pulled back, and that bar is actually going out in front of you. Then you kind of recover, right? And then you're there, but that bar is still out in front of you. Your weight, you know, your your weight's still kind of too far forward instead of sitting back in the heels. But at this position, you're still overhanging. But right there, right, that's your power position. That is actually not bad. You've done, you've recovered, but once again, you know, it's the beginning of the lift is one of the most critical parts. Um, power position. Vertical shins, weights in the heels, uh, you know, you're sit the hamstrings are loaded sitting under the bar, arms are straight, shoulders are over on top of the bar, head is up. From here, you want to extend everything, right? So if you look here, you've done a great job of extending the hips and the knees. Uh, and you could do a little better with getting the feet up, right? Almost like you're jumping vertical, don't say flat-footed. And if you look at your elbows, right, you've started shrugging, and your elbows kind of just stayed low, right? They didn't really do anything. They just kind of stayed there. So there wasn't a lot of arm pull, which shows here because you don't have a lot of time to get underneath, right? You've already caught your rack, and you're, you know, high in your rack. So a couple of things here. Make sure your elbows follow your shrug. You want to watch your feet, right? Your feet should split open, right? Just a, a little bit opening, nothing like a bastardization of opening, you know, into like a, I call it star fishing, where you see people just splay their legs open. You should open about an inch or two, right? And that's going to allow you to sit in that squat stance. Once you do that, you're just going to drop on in, 
Hypothetically, you've opened your stance, which you did, and you got to sit down quick, right? So your squat's not bad. You just got to get there quicker. Your eyes should be up in this direction, right? When you look uh, down, you fall down. Elbows are nice and high. As you stand up, you start to fall forward a little bit, and then you recover, right? So it's just making sure you sit your gaze out in the front. Uh, I know that's a lot, but really think about uh, the positioning. And, and if you look on our YouTube and go through some of the cleans, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, take care.